Get lined up here, Vince. Looks like, uh, yeah, there's still everybody still getting their their pep talks at both nets. We gotta wait on Triola's whistle. As soon as he gives the, the old whistle, we're gonna be ready to roll here. Well, I'll tell you what, this just like our team, it varies sizes of uh, heights and shapes for the for the Indians. Yeah, they certainly got it. I mean, they, there's no, I mean, their roster that's online that that we have here in front of us. I mean, there's no way they have all these people on the bench. There's, no. there's a ton of people on their roster. I mean, it's a, it goes to a second page. I don't think we've had that yet this year. That's something else. I think, a, in fact, there's one person here listed. It's 97. Next to it, it says kindergarten teacher assistant. <laughs> and you put a, they put them all on there. They put them everybody. All right, here we go. We're going to have Weber going to take the draw here at center right. Buckle your chin straps. Here we go. Immediate face-off goes right into West Allegheny bench, almost takes his hat off. Unbelievable. We're, we're less than two seconds. We almost have a catastrophe. I, I, hope was, I mean, that went airborne, like, right now from the face-off. It did, it did hit nothing, but almost hit that guy right square in the nugget. Let's try this again. Let's try it again. Face-off at the center ice. West Allegheny tries to get control, can't do it. Coming back to their D. Try to get to the center. This is number 26. He's going to go across the line, take a shot. Nice save there by Kaufman. He's going to hold on right away. I'll tell you what, we got sparks in the air already. We're not even at 30 seconds into it, Deke. No, it certainly, uh, as you mentioned, it certainly does have that playoff feel. Oh, boy, does it. Face off in the Beeville zone. Near side board. Still near side by the Zamboni doors. There's going to be a penalty right away. Tom Yoder's got his hand in the air. Number 26 is going to get a hooking call. Meville immediately goes to the power play. So let's see what happens here. So that's number 26 for West Allegheny gets a hooking call. That's Bradley Reinemeck. It's going to be a two-minute call by referee Tom Yoder for hooking. Boy, Deej, I didn't expect that right out. No, I didn't see it either. That doesn't mean it didn't happen, obviously. I'm sure it did. It, it was... Uh... Caught it. I think it kind of caught everybody by surprise, but certainly Bulldogs need to take advantage of it early. Well, that'd be Great nice. Opportunity. That'd be nice. All right, so that there's no line change for the Bulldogs. We got Leach out there now, and also on this side is going to be um, Shovelman. So we got the we got the big guy. Nice play there. This is going to be Franz far side. Put the puck in front. Where's the shot by Shelvin? Block by their D. Come to the far point. This is going to be Weber chased down by one of their four checkers. Yager, cross over the other side to, to Franz. Franz gonna leave it to Leach. Back to Franz, Franz getting competition on the other side. Nice job to step around there to one of their uh, forwards. Franz in behind their own net. Near side board, Yager, back behind the net to Franz. Franz to the point, this is gonna be, oh, let's go hit the post there by Weber. Shot to the point, hit the post. Yager gonna keep it deep, all the way around. Far side, Franz, 110 to go in the power play. Shelvin gets tied up by three guys. Nice job there to keep it alive. Near side point, Yager. That's Weber. Weber, far side, Franz. <clears throat> Franz looks, puts it across the front row. Can't connect with uh, uh, Yager. Put in front, trying to get trying to get to Franz. He got stopped by the defense. Far side post, that's Weber. Weber to Franz. Franz back to Weber. Weber takes a shot, all just misses the net, up and wide over. Where'd it go? Bounced off the goaltender. Shelvin tried to hit it off his back, but it went behind the net. Good play there. Front's gonna walk in, far circle. Gonna tell, oh, don't jack around about three guys, shoots it just wide of the net. Boy, he put that one guy, just turns him in circle. Pucks in front again, where's the goal? He scoops it up, he can't control it. Good job by Meeville, keeping the pressure on. Shot there, finally into the blocker. Boy, a lot of pressure there, Dave. Boy, great power play here for the Bulldogs. As you mentioned, obviously you were you were on it. There was a, a lot of puck movement. That's what you like to see as a coach, certainly as a player. Nobody had the puck for more than, what, a couple seconds right, there. Right. That's what you want to see. A lot of movement. Boy, Weber had a great opportunity. You mentioned hit the post. He was wide open in the slot. Just couldn't capitalize. Great great first power play there for the Bulldogs. 20 seconds to go on that power play. West Allegheny's able to get the puck to square all the way down in the Meville zone. In behind his own net is Ott. Stop on a dime. What's he going to do? Far side. Look at the outlet. Can they get it out? Yes, they can. That's who that Derlick. He can't get it out. Back comes uh, the Indians. One on three. Poke check there by Ott. Near side board. Puck off the board. This is going to go all the way down. Potential icing called with 14.38 to go. No score. Bevo was unable to cash in on their first opportunity. However, uh, there was a lot of positives from that. Yeah, no doubt. It was a uh, certainly a lot of uh, they had a second unit out there. The Bulldogs did. Um, again, it's one of those 20 seconds left. Let's see if we can get the uh, get those guys a breezer. You got uh, Weber and Franz back out here for defensive zone faceoff. 
Most important faceoff right after pen penalty play. That's for sure. Zamboni side doors. Big scrum in there. This is going to be uh, who that? That's, uh, that's Franz. Turns on the dial. Gets around one guy. Gets around two guys. Near side here. Gets checked to the board. Skips through that though. Puck goes into the corner. That's English. He can't keep it in. Back here's his Leach. Leach goes D to D. Back to Leach. Near side. He's got the puck at his own blue line. Far side there. They're able to keep the puck in on the delay. They clear. Puck is good. In behind our own net. That's high. He's going to try to shoot far side. Puck doesn't get out. Get the puck into the net. Nice job there by Coffin just to hold on. Looks like their theory is throwing everything to net. Potential rebound. Anything. It seems like every time they get in, you know, there are a lot of shots through the net from the blue line, Dave. Yeah, certainly. I mean, that was obviously just, yeah, you mentioned just the shot there from the blue line. Not a lot of traffic in front. They had both their guys in the opposite corners. But, uh, you know, they, they were obviously killing a penalty. They really haven't gotten rhythm here yet. I would imagine either you might see a little more puck possession once they get into the game a little bit. There we go. Back the other way. Who's that? That's Shovelman. He's going to try to get the puck in, hit it there, defenseman. They miss a, the clearing pass. Yager goes D to D. Far side odd. Odd's going to go hard off of Tom Yoder's shoulder. Every game, every game, Tom Yoder. It is unbelievable. I hope. You know, we're going to have to buy him some Kevlar. <laughs> every game the boy gets hit with a rondelle. Or an ice pack. Yeah, ice pack. There's going to be an icing call. Meevil seems to have a hard time getting out of their own zone. Tom Yoder takes a rondelle off the scapula, but he looks like he's doing okay. Unbelievable. You're a kid. Huh? It's every game. Every game. <laughs> it's like he's got a target on his back, that Yoder guy. I like Tommy, too. Hang in there, Yotes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Face off in the Bulldog zone. To the left of Eddie Coffin. Where is it? They got the puck in behind our net. Wheel and deal. They're going to try to put it in front. No, he goes all the way around the other side. Come on out. There's going to be a whistle. I'm going to guess there's somebody in the crease, Dave. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, it must have been. I wasn't sure if maybe it was net off, but uh, Triola was uh, was right on it. Must have been a uh, Indian in the crease, and uh, we got a face off outside. All right, here we go. It's going to be in the, on one of those dots with uh, 13.24 to go in the first period, 0-0. Zero, zero. I think it's uh, still got a little tension. Team sounded kind of like feeling each other out a bit, a little bit. Yeah, I would agree. All right, pucked up in deep by the Indians, in behind the, the Bulldog net. This is Yager, wheel and deal, come near side, Zamboni doors, misses everybody, goes four counties down for another ice. Yeah, certainly that was a uh, great play there by Yager. A good heads up play as well. Right. You know, not a, uh, not every defenseman is going to be able to take the time there that he did. Um, they have it. You know, defensemen usually they're going to have that, that space in that time, but to have the heads up play to actually take it is uh, is another level. Right. Face off again, uh, just to the just to the left of Eddie Kaufman. That's Leach wheeling deal behind his own net. A couple Indians right there, put the puck in front, but it went all the way through the crease. Meeple can't clear the puck. Where is it? Leach in behind his own net. Checked in there. Hard by one of the Indians. Puck squirts in front. Who comes out with it? That's going to be Hyam. He's a nice job. Puts him behind the net. This is going to be Leach again. Boy, Leach is getting all kind of commotion back there. Back goes the other way. Bulldogs having some hard time getting the puck out of their own zone right now. Finally, it squirts loose and it goes back to their D. Coming back the other way. This is nice job there by the Indians. Going to take a shot. Hits our defense. Another shot there. Another deflect off the defenseman. Went high up and into, into the rafters. I think it hit the crossbar. You think it hit the crossbar? After the defenseman hit the crossbar. After the defenseman hit the crossbar. You gotta check the tape cap. I'll tell you what. I believe you, Dean. I'm not down. All I know is that thing went up the stairs in a hurry. I'll tell you what, Meville there. It's a little slanted right now, Dave. Yeah, certainly the uh, the Bulldogs got their uh, got their top line back out there again. We got Weber and uh, and Franz on the same line, so um, we'll see what the matchup the Chief wants to make here tonight. Yeah, we just gotta try to get some uh, puck time down the other way here. Where's it now? Hard off the glass. Taking in that word, they able to square it out. No, it doesn't make it. They're going to come near side here. Good job there to move the puck in. That's that Nolan. He can't control it. It's in behind the Bulldog net. Far side, Yager hits his man to the board. This is English. Can he get it out? Taken there by two or three Indians. Where they're still battling around at the blue line. Finally squirts loose. Nice job there by English to forecheck. Trying to get ahead, but he can't get, uh, can't get there. Back the other way. Puck off the defenseman's stick. Now we're in a neutral zone. This is going to be Weber, near side, going around one, two, three guys. Near side here, gets taken nicely into the board. He's got two guys on him. Then he falls down. Now, this guy, I think uh, this guy's going to get an academy. He fell down, hands in the air, and Fiola bought it. So we're going to get a penalty, I think, on Meadville. I think it's going to be a hooking call. 
on uh, on Weber. But I got to tell you what, as a referee, if a kid falls down, his hands are in the air and his feet are going around, I think he sold that one, to be yeah, honest with you. Yeah, I think he did as well. I would agree with you. I saw that back end of that. Um, he certainly did, did sell that one. Um, and uh, unfortunately for the Bulldogs, the referee was buying. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I guess that's why I don't referee anymore. I don't buy it. I don't have enough money for that shenanigans. <laughs> All right, here we go. Meeble's going to be on the short hand. And we'll see what the West Allegheny power play can do. This is going to be Shelman. Can't get the puck out. They're able to keep the puck in. Uh, Indians, where is it? Zamboni side door. Put the puck in front. Good job by the defense to, to get the puck at Shelman, I believe. He threw it all the way down the other end. He goes down to chase. 11.03 to go in the period. 137 to go oh. in the penalty. What happened there? The goalie just fell down. Yeah, I don't know. He might have stepped on something. <laughs> Huh? He's got a blown wheel. Their goalie fell down. Shelman just looked at him. Kid fell down. Nice back checking in by Shelman to get the puck. Not able to get it out, though. Here they come the other way. Put it in front. Where oh, is it? Bounces off the skate and went in. That was a bad bounce goal there. That bad puck luck. I think that was more of a pass, uh, but it ended up going into the net. So we'll give uh, we'll give you the scoring gear right now. It's going to be a power play goal by the Indians. We'll see how cool we'll see how this turns out. Yeah, it was a uh, as you mentioned there. It was an unfortunate play. The uh, the Bulldogs actually got caught on a little bit of an on man break there down low. The guy had a two options. He had a high guy and he also had the guy far side. He went to the guy on the far side. Leach blocked the pass. Kaufman went over to anticipate the pass. Went off a of leech and goes five hole right on Kaufman in uh, unfortunate uh, puck luck as you mentioned. That's going to be Nicholas Bonday. He's going to get the goal. He's going to assist him number 26. That's going to be Bradley Reinack. So one nothing, uh, one nothing Indians here in the first period. A uh, power play goal, 10:34 to go. All right, here we go the other way. That's going to be off the, off the boards, far side, fighting in the neutral zone. That's past Alexander Rod. He's going to get the puck, backhanded all the way around here to Yager. Yager's going to put it up here to Mahoney. Can he get it out? Can't get it out. A lot of trouble here. Boy, I'll tell you what, the Indians are forechecking hard tonight. They seem to have two, three people on the puck all the time. Far side, here they go, going to put it in front. Where does it go? Bouncing puck, finally Kevin, Eddie Coffin's able to find it. You know, they got a lot of hops right now. We'll see what happens later in the game, but they sort of seem like they got two, three guys on the puck at all times. Yeah, it certainly tilted the, the one way into the Bulldog zone here tonight. Uh, so far, what do we got? We're just about seven minutes into the into the play here, so the Bulldogs certainly need to get a couple things turning their way. All right, here we go. Face off to the right, Eddie Kaufman. 10.04 to go, first period, 1-0 West Allegheny on a power play goal, but it was kind of a puck luck goal. It bounced off, someone skate and went in. But you know something, they all count to age. They all count the same, too. They all count the same. Puck again, going to be another icing call. That seems like to be Meville's best play right now. we got to get out of that habit. Yeah, they're not being, uh, again, the breakout pass and, and breakout all in general for the, uh, for the Bulldogs is what's failing them here tonight. And I don't know that it's necessarily the Bulldogs' uh, inability to do it other than uh, the pressure of the West Allegheny Indians. I think it's, yeah, I did, that, again, they're, they're forechecking hard, the Indians. Weber in behind his own net, near side here, Zamboni side door, stepping around one guy, no, poke check nicely there, by again, one of their forecheckers. Back the other way, Puck's gonna be able to get out, no, it doesn't get out, can we step up real quick, nice job there by, by Leach, oh boy, I thought he'd chip it out, but instead he took it back behind his own net, could have put himself in danger. Oh, good pass there by, uh, by Franz to go ahead and get Weber, Weber two on, Two on two, coming the other way. Where's the puck? Weber has it, can't get a shot off. Hit there with one of their defensemen skate. This is English, English is gonna give the front. Front step around one guy. He gets about five guys immediately. There's a hook never called. Then he gets checked in the board, but the puck goes in behind the net. Their defense and taking the far side. Weber's gonna be on him. Steps around one, steps around two. Franz puts him right into the boards. Nice job there by the captain. Good back checking. Take the guy off the play. Near side here, gonna be their defense, was gonna put it up ahead. They're gonna dump it in deep. Everybody's getting on a line change here. Puck near side, watch out, Bevo, don't get too many. I, that, that's a dangerous play there on a change. In behind their own net, Bevo's gonna try to set up. This is gonna be Yager, what's he gonna do? Gonna try to put it out, oh, whiff, but able to get his own pass. Gonna go far side, doesn't make it all the way back. Their defenseman's able to put it up ahead. This is gonna be Mahoney, backhands in, no icing, smart to get the center ice red. In behind their net, no four checkers for Meville, like we see for them. Nice break out there by Indians. They're gonna get the center strike. They're gonna get our blue line. Good poke check there by Odd. Nice job to stop that. Still can't get it out. That's Nolan keeping the puck in. Pucking behind the Bulldog net, 8.15 to go. First period, one nothing. What's Allegheny? 
on a power play goal. This is Ott. The Shovelman back behind the net. They stole it. Indians with a puck in control. Far side going to try to step off the high board. Can't do it. Good job there by Derlich to give him some commotion, but they're able to still keep the puck in deep. Shovelman can't get it out. This is Mahoney. What's he going to do? He gets two guys on him. Three guys. Count them, Dave. Switch it. Three on three down there. Puck's going down the other end. We're going to get an icy call. No, Girola Gir waves it off. Says no way. He it didn't make the distance. That's lucky for the Bulldogs. Oh, good check in there. <laughs> by, uh, that was number five. That's Lewis. That was Lewis. Nice job there to create Leach. some stuff, and he scores by Leach. I'll tell you what happened right there, DJ, and you correct me if I'm wrong. That no icy call for West Allegheny looked like they were a little slow. All of a sudden, Lewis puts a check on. Everybody stops and looks around. The next thing you know, Leach is burying the run down. Yeah, little boy, I tell you what, Lewis, Lewis and uh, I think that's the first time he called his name there tonight. Yes, it has. He was, he had a hop in his step, and certainly, he, what he made to try to put that guy in the third row. Oh, he did. And it popped loose. Who was the uh, who was the guy from the corner there that popped the puck out? I don't know. Was that Grasinger? Or was it? Uh, Lewis. Uh, oh, it was uh, 34. That was uh, That's Leach. Lewis. Leach scored. Yeah, Fice, he ended up popping it out to Leach. Leach is in the high slot and just, just smokes it high glove. Then we got 1-1. One, one. I'll tell you what, we got ourselves a contest now. Good job there by Lewis. I'll tell you what, that's a good way to get yourself some ice time, Dave. There's no doubt about that. You guarantee everybody took note. That's for sure. Where's the puck now? Bouncing in behind the Meville net. Far, and the blue line, good job to keep it in. Bouncing puck, good job there by, by Leach. Stepping up, going to coach the charge. Far side, he's got Lewis. Leach tried to get around one guy, gets taken down. There it is in the corner where Lewis is in front. There's going to be a penalty on somebody. Yoder's going to call a holding. This is guy, I hope, I think it's going to be on one of the Indians. Bevo gets a good chance for their second power player today. Boy, I tell you what, Leach put people on their backs right now. As you mentioned, he blocked that shot all the way in front of his net. He saw an opportunity there with all the Indians who were down low. He takes a couple strides. All of a sudden, he's got a one-on-one -on -one -on -one chance with one of their defensemen, tries to split him and uh, draws a penalty. But great job here with Leach in the last couple shifts. That's no, yeah, you for sure. That's, that, that Lewis, yeah, him and Lewis both. So that's Alexander uh, Morton gonna be in a penalty box for holding. We got Meevils on a power play on a 1-1 game here in the first period. I'll tell you what, don't go away, people. This is exciting. Don't even get a drink now. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be near side. This is Yager gonna get the blue line. What's he gonna do? Gonna take it far into the corner. Around the world he goes. And what's he going to do? Put it to the far side po uh, point. That's Franz. Franz Weber. Weber to Yager. Nice job across the road. Put it front words and Shelvin can't get it. Oh, Shelvin again. Yeah, now he's taking down. Boy, I'll tell you what, he had an opportunity. Good check by their defenseman. Just as Shelvin's going to ready to pull the trigger, their defenseman hit him. Shelvin again. Shot where it is. Uh, bounced off their defenseman. Good play by their defense to knock him off the puck before he gets a shot. Good job by Meeville, though, to find him. Shot there, oh, hit the big patch, can hear it from here. Commotion in front, Shelvin shot, saved by their goaltender near side. It's gonna be Yager. Yager gonna put it in front, where is it? Oh, Leach can't tip it in. Oh, Leach decides to make a tattoo out of somebody on the boards. Nice job there. This is gonna be Weber, shot hit the goalie, oh, just missed. Yager, what's he gonna do? Walk the line, no, he's gonna keep it deep. Good check there. They're gonna be able to clear it down. Good opportunities there, Deej. Yeah, great job there by the Bulldogs as they still maintain possession here in their own zone. And uh, you mentioned it, Shevelman had a wide open chance. He just could not find a wood on it. Great play there by the defenseman of the Indian here. Second rush here by the Bulldogs. Here we go. There's a front near side. Gets around a couple guys. Gonna toe drag around one guy. <laughs> Walk around another one. But he just can't get off. I tell you what, going around three guys looking pretty good. This is gonna be uh, Franz takes a shot. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Weber takes a shot here to the defenseman. This is Yager tip in front there, but it's by uh, by Leach, but the goalie's able to make a save. Yager's gonna take a shot, hit him right in the breadbasket. No traffic in front. 13 seconds to go on the, po on the power play. 5:13 to go in the, in the second period. You want to play one and threes if you're superstitious, but right now I'll tell you what, line change for everybody, Dave. Yeah, absolutely. I tell you, the Bulldogs are uh, certainly when they able to put the pressure on here. A couple, uh, couple of the key guys, as you mentioned, were able to uh, certainly put on the pressure. Boy, it's just, don't go anywhere, as you mentioned. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna go anywhere. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Here's side here, this is gonna be the Indians. They're gonna try to dump it in. This is their Norton guys, their head guy, he shoots and scores. That's, the, that's their leading scorer. Took a quick wrist shot, went far post. There was no doubt there. That's why that guy's number one for their scores. He just put the, he just put the Indians up on a short-handed Short-handed goal. The Indians up are now up two to one. Nice shot. It was a nice shot. Got to give the kid credit on that one. Yeah, it was a nice shot. He was completely short-sided on his end, and uh, I just don't think that uh, 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think Kaufman was expecting that kind of shot that quickly. It was a real quick release from him. And uh, unfortunately, beat, beat Kaufman there. I don't know if it went six hole or if it went just over the pad. Yeah, anyways, it's uh, bad luck, for, bad for us, and good for them. That's going to be a shorthanded goal on top of everything else. That's going to be number five. Does he get an assist? Yeah, for number 16. And they come back the other way. Shot hit the, hit the, hit the defense. Went up over the glass. Puck still in, the, in our zone. Gonna wheel around, take a shot there. Good job by the defenseman to hold him up. Puck off the glass. This is Derlich trying to get it far side. Their defenseman steps up. English is able to get the puck. Now the puck shot into the Meadville zone. 422, first period, 2 1, <coughs> West Allegheny. Gonna be a turnover in, there in the neutral zone. Offside call gonna be there by Tom Yoder. Their guy couldn't get on side quick enough before, the, before one of their players brought it in. Um, again, I, I the kid had a quick release on that, Deej. Yeah, he did have a quick release, I believe. Um, again, it's just one of those, he's coming down short side, and uh, I think, uh, again, Coppin wasn't really necessarily expecting it, maybe leaning just one way too too far. And, um, you know, it's a good chip pass by his, uh, or whoever that guy that got the assist there, number 16. It chip pass around our defenseman to get it to him on a stick, but again, it was off on and off the stick pretty quickly. Okay, here we go, where's the puck gonna be? Shot down the other way. This is going to be uh, Lewis. He's going <clears> to <throat> chase in after with three, three Indians. Near side here. They're going to try to break out. Can they get out? Finally, they do. Going to go ahead and get the blue line. Going to take a shot there. <laughs> Lewis takes down another guy. Where's the puck? Bouncing off two or three guys in behind the Bulldogs, in behind the Bulldog net. This is Franz going to come out with it. Turn on a dime. Stop. He's going to backhand. This is over to Lewis. He can't control it. Now he gets knocked over. And you ain't got to get caught with your head down, but uh, that's just what happened. There's going to be a shot. No, he just blocked at the defense. This is Lewis. He can't get it out. This is Franz. He's going to get it high and hard off the off the board. Far side. It's going to go in front of that. Weber's giving chase. Weber puts his guy into the boards. Nice four check in there. Now Weber gets tripped. There's going to be a penalty on, uh, <clears throat> on West Allegheny for tripping. And with that, we'll go ahead top of the hour sponsors, Deed. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. 101.7, you're listening to here, WMVL, Linesville, Meadville. We'd like to take a listen to our sponsors, Cantalock, Smith Gray, Buick, GMC, Smock Plumbing and Heating, Ron Puzz, your AFLAC representative, Howard Hanna, Bainbridge, Coffin Real Estate, Ross Plumbing and Heating, Dr. Dennis Fintan Associates, Mercer County State Bank, Lakeview Ford, the area shopper, Crestman and Erdy Law, Monica Insurance, Westbury, Ralston Hardware, and KFC and Meadville. You know, their bench is kind of home home about that, but if he doesn't trip, if he doesn't trip Weber, he takes him out of the play. I think it's a great call. Well, it's a great job there by Weber to actually not take a penalty by hitting that guy from behind and an uh, <laughs> undisciplined play by their defenseman to, uh, to ultimately trip him. Yeah, well, that's right. We talked about that. Need to be disciplined. Got to go with that kindergarten teacher. I'm trying to get my feet out of the wires. Okay, here we go. Meeville's on another third power play, Deej. Yeah, third power play would be... Uh, Certainly nice to uh, stay on the positive side. Obviously, with that short yeah, hand goal. Good point. Um, you know, it would uh, nice to be on the right side of things here if you're Bulldog. Near side, Yager. Yager tries to get around one guy. He does get to him, but he loses control of the puck. Puck still in the West Allegheny zone. There goes Sweet back the other way for uh, Allegheny, but it was able to get poke checked there nicely by by Weber. Far side, Franz. Franz and Weber. Weber going to wheel and deal, turn the other way. Near side, Yager. Nice job to stop on a dime to get the puck. Yager gets taken off the play. Puck's going to be put down the other way. They're going to go ahead and forecheck. Eddie Coffin's after it. He's going to put it right in front. Feeds one of their guys who was breaking in. He probably can't get a shot off. I'm not sure what was going on there. <clears throat> Pardon me. Puck goes into the West Allegheny zone. Going to come all the way around. Yager, can he keep it in? He can. He gets a bunch of people in front. Nice pass there by Leach. Going to be shot there by Franz. Oh, he just missed the top 90. High and hard, went over everything. Good job there by, by Weber to keep the puck in. Weber keeps the puck in, takes two hits and take the, they pays the price, but keeps the puck in the zone. Good job there. Battle along the near board. The puck's going to go all the way down the other end. 18 seconds to go in a penalty to number 11 for hold, for tripping. 127 to go uh, here in the second period, or first period, I'm sorry. Oh, nice shot there and saved by Kylie Kaufman. Another shorthanded attempt by that uh, Nolan guy, but but uh, Eddie Coffin was was up to the task. Good snapshot there by Franz, right into the, into the bread basket. Two good saves by two good goaltenders. Yeah, certainly another another good opportunity. Cole Weber was tired, end of a shift there, 
going back and getting that uh, getting that puck that the Indian shot all the way down behind our net and try to get around the guy and he ended up poke checking him and finding the uh, open man in front. Good thing Kaufman was able to uh, stop the music there. That would have been another dagger for the Warlocks. Yeah, that wouldn't have helped anything. They're at even strength now. Faceoff's going to be a left of their goaltender. With 1.14 to go, I'll tell you what, we got players all over the ice. We got four to come off. This coach is waving here. Trilla says no. This guy says, come on off. What is going on? I got to tell you what, it looks like a first grade fire drill out here with, a, with the West Allegheny guys. Put some people on the ice, will ya? Shot up over the frost bar, it goes nowhere. Good check in there. Oh, oh there's another check. Oh, English takes a slack. He there, a little, tempers are getting a little heated here now. There's a shot there by off, doesn't make it in. There's a shot there by Art up. It went wide. Who was that? That was English. This is going to be high. He's going to put it off the board. Back in the other way, 48 seconds to go. They can't break out. Good job there by Mahoney to step in. This is going to be a lot of contact here today, Deej. This is, this is not a game for sissies tonight. No, absolutely. You better keep your head up, that's for sure. That's for sure is right, because if not, something's going to happen. Can they break it out? He just lofts the puck. It hits the, it hits the ceiling. It hit the ceiling. We're going to have a face-off. Couldn't he see the slanted ceiling, Deej? Well, he's, it's not a bad play if you're a defenseman. They certainly needed a change, I would think, there for both teams. You got uh, one week just under 37, or 30 seconds here. I'm sure you're going to see, yeah, you're going to see Franz and, and Weber out here for this final moment. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. You got Shovelman up there, too. Where's the puck? They're going to bring it across the line. Can't get it past Franz. Franz is able to get the puck there momentarily. Back to Leach. Defensive zone, Meadville. This is Yager. Yager kind of puts in the center of the ice, kind of got given away. Nice shot there. Good step up by Leach to take him off the puck. I'll tell you what, I, you, nobody wants to go near the dashers with, like you said, with their heads down because things will happen. Four seconds, five seconds, or three seconds. We're going to get out of here. Well, that's it. Two to one, West Allegheny. That's the end of, that's the end of one, Dage. Yeah, absolutely. Good, uh, good fight here for both teams. I think uh, maybe we'll take a quick break here. We'll send it back to the studio, and we'll be right back for your second action play. Meville Bulldogs here at the George S.D. Armand Ice Arena. Whoa, I got to tell you what, I called this playoff intensity. We got people on the glass. Okay, well, we've got, we've got intensity. This is playoff, playoff, playoff intensity. Absolutely, there's no doubt about that. It, uh, it certainly has that mentality from up here, and it's definitely like that down on the ice. There's no, there is no doubt about that. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of bodies getting thrown around. We'll see what happens here in the second period. 17 minutes on a running clock. Two to one, West Allegheny. Bonds is able to keep the puck in. Near side board. Weber's fighting along in there. Who's he with? That's uh, English. Puck is able to get squirted out. Nice job there by Yager to put the puck in. But I'll tell you what, that's a good play. It keeps him from West Allegheny from going the other way. West Allegheny's trying to break out. A couple stick hand moves here. Near side off the board. This is sweet. What's he going to do? He's trying to go far side. Nice job there. Breaking in. West Allegheny. Oh, high slot there. Shot score. That was a nice play there to dish the puck off. And number 51 was all by himself in a high slot. He went up for 90, and that's the end of that. Yeah, a little miscommunication there by the defenseman of the Bulldogs. You, you know, again, when you replay that <laughs> that play there, they're going to want that one back because they found themselves both on basically the goal line, right and left of, of Eddie Kaufman. And now you got defenseman, or you, they're, they're forward, excuse me, for uh, West Allegheny wide open in the slot. And again, at this level, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a goal almost every time. And that's the same, the combination as the first time. That's going to be that uh, bandy guy from then, then number 26 for them on the, on the assist is going to be that railing whack. So they got, uh, they're working on a hat trick and a playmaker, those two. That's uh, not the way, a good way to start the second period. Only 16 minutes to go. Right now it's 3-1 to one. West Allegheny shot there. Puck, puck loose in front. Who's it going to be? Derlick, he's going to put the puck off the, off the glass, but he's going to hit their defenseman. No icing. Back in their zone. Where is it? Kept in. No, it's a delayed offside. Yep, good call there by Yodi. It's going to be a delayed offside for Meadville. We'll face off here in the neutral zone. 15.46 to go in the uh, second period. Yeah, Shuffleman caught inside the, uh, inside the blue line there on the offsides. But I tell you what, the, uh, the Bulldogs, what they're doing, they're, they're struggling um, on some of these, uh, as I mentioned, actually, before the game started. On the uh, on some of these other lines, being able to keep their puck possession, um, so we can't see what's going on here. The uh, looking for a change there. Is no, it? no. That, that, that what's happening? Their coach is starting to yell at the referee. 
and he puts his hand up, and that means he, he wants to make a change, but Jamie had his hand up. Right, so he can't make a change. Well, no, he can't make a change, but on top of that, he was screaming from on top of the bench, and the first thing is, <laughs> is all it said is, get off the bench and get down here where we're face-to-face. -face. You're not talking down to me. So he's trying to tell the coach, with my hand's up, that's the end of that. He's, he's got hands on his hips and everything else, Dave. He's guy. not happy. No. He, he's not going to need that hat because I'll tell you what, he's red as their sweaters right now. <laughs> All right. The neutral zone. Puck's going to bounce off of uh, who's that? Lewis's uh, shin pad. He's going to go in. Nice save there by Kaufman. Hanaway can't get control of it. Still in the Mee Bull zone. Nice job there by their defenseman to keep it in. High off the board. This is going to be odd. He's going to put it in front. Oh, box off the defense. It's going to go to the center red. Neutral zone. Put the puck in again. It bounces off. Hit the coach and the, the other coach in the back of the head. So right now, right now, DJ, we got three to one West Allegheny and two coaches. Two coaches. Two coaches got in with pucks. I got to tell you, we got four back in the nets and two two West Allegheny coaches. And one Tommy Yoder. And one Tommy Yoder. Yeah, Kevlar Tommy. I tell you, killing me. Center ice face off, where is it? Everybody has it, there's gonna be job there by English. He's gonna put it in deep. 15 minutes to go, second period, 3-1 West Allegheny. There's a lot of bodies being thrown around out there tonight. Puck into the neutral zone, where to go? They're gonna to try to step up, nice job there. Come across the line, gonna backhand it into the corner. That's, uh, who's that, that's uh, Hyman, he tries to keep it. He can't get the puck out of the zone. Near side corner, couple four checking in. He's again, you see a lot of their two on. They like to put two four checkers on. Puck can't get past their defense with a good drum. Try to stretch past there to front, but it didn't make it. Near side here, where, where's it gonna be? This is gonna be English. Gonna put it down the length of the ice. We got an icing call on Meadville, 1428. We're gonna face off in Meadville zone just to the right of the goaltender. Yeah, again, it's, it's kind of similar to the, you, you saw there, English putting it all the way down. It's, again, that's some of the things that, uh, you know, if it's not Weber, if it's not uh, Franz, and if it's not some of the defensemen on the backside, you know, the Bulldogs, they just seem a little hesitant. Once they get the puck, they feel like they need to move it right away. And they actually got a couple seconds of time. If they pick their head up, they can find somebody in a white sweater instead of just icing it or find somebody in a red sweater. There you go. They say two, uh, two goal leagues, a hard one to hold on to. Let's see how true that is here tonight. Meville's trailing by two. Where's the puck? Into the neutral zone. Sweet for the defense, and all gives away. This is going to be Mahoney. Breaking in, gets put there, puts it in. Oh, wow. Happened. Where's the puck? He missed. He missed it. But how did he get, did he not get tackled? I mean, how did he, he just like felt that, the, was there not a penalty there? I'm confused. I mean, he was like, ready to take a shot. Next thing you know, he was off his feet. What happened? Well, anyways, no penalty called. Uh, he kind of beat the goaltender. He was left, right. He got slashed once, and then all of a sudden he was upended. Uh, from my vantage point, it sure looked like it was sort of suspicious. He never did get the shot off because he was laying on the ice. And then to boot, after he took the, after he ended up taking the net off the mooring, I think he's the one that put it back on the mooring. <laughs> I think he, he did everything there except put the puck in the basket in the basket. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm not sure what happened there. That was kind of a crazy turn of event. It did kind of look a little weird. We, it was kind of blocked by the uh, the, the, the defenseman um, from my even my vantage point. I couldn't really see. Puck's in front now. Where is a couple shots there? That's the Hanaway. He can't get the puck into the net. Stop there by their defenseman. Good job there by Yarger to keep the puck in deep. Their defenseman has it far side. Stops on the dime wheels the other way. They got an Indian on a half board. What's he going to do? He mishandles the puck. He tries to hit his own guy in the back of the leg. Puck off of uh, Lewis's shin pad goes to our defenseman. This is going to be Yarger. Yarger, he can't get it. Can't get it up. Their defenseman tries to bring it in. No, it won't go. This is Lewis going to dump it in. He gets checked there by one of their defensemen, but I, he looked like he took the worst of it, their defenseman. He's just fixing his shin pad. Pucks in front, where is it? Oh, good shot there by Hanaway. He was behind the net. He was spinning on one blade, took a shot. It just barely got a piece of it. Almost fooled the goalie, but it went right into his big right pillow. Yeah, I tell you what, great play there by Hanaway. That was, he was at the end of his shift there as well and tried to uh, try to do the wraparound, and he paid the price for it, certainly from their defenseman. But, you know, their goaltender doesn't seem very, very noble, uh, noble yeah. by any means. So right. Get it up high and hard. It's, it should, uh, you know, find those corners pretty easy. All right, here, far side point. This is Leach, gonna keep it in deep. Where is it? Bouncing around. Their defense was able to get it, top of the circle. Put it in a neutral zone. Back to our defenseman, that's high. He's gonna put it in deep, no icing call. It's all waved off. 
And this coach is wondering why there's no like. Yeah, I think what happened there was a delayed penalty and the, uh, the stripe certainly got caught on the delayed penalty and then ended up, ended up not realizing them the icing. I think they had a, they actually had a complaint there. Okay, here we so there's no penalty. You mean offsides? Offsides, yeah. This is Franz. He gets the puck out of a, out of a handful there. He backhands, but it's stopped by the defense. Far side there. This is going to be Derlich. He runs into his guy. Where's the puck? Well, I'll tell you what, a whole bunch of hitting going on here now. Good job there by the Bulldogs to keep uh, somebody from breaking away. Going to try a stretch pass. This is going to be Weber. Weber's going to try to put it ahead. He does. He's going to give it to Franz. He can't backhand it in. Franz gets the puck again. He puts it in deep. There's going to be a line change. 12.07 to go. Second period, 3-1. West Allegheny. Nice check in there by Derlich. This is going to be uh, Shovelman. He's going to put it back behind the net to Derlich. Derlich trying to get to Shovelman. Stopped there by their D. Back they go. They're going to try a stretch pass, but good job there. Oh, nice defense. Looked but offside, it's an offside. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's a good call. Uh, good play there. He got the puck on an offside pass, but that was a good play there to, to, to kind of break that up. We're lucky on that one, but... Uh, really not lucky because he was offsides or else he wouldn't have been able to make that play. Yeah, I was just say, I think Yager did actually a pretty good job stepping up and actually kind of rolled over his stick there. Um, it took an un unfortunate bounce, but then in the process of him taking that taking that stick uh, onto the puck there, slowed it up enough, their guy got caught offside. Uh, we'll take it. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Back to RD. This is going to be Yager. Nice job there to get ahead to Lewis. He's going to dump it in. Dump and chase. Not a smart, not a bad, not a dumb move. That's a good play. It wasn't. 11.34 to go, far side there. That's going to be, who's that? That's uh, Leach. That's Grazinger. Oh, no, that's there. Grazinger down there. I'm sorry. Great. John, little Johnny Grazinger tries to put the puck in front. It gets blocked off. Where's it at now? Grazinger's on it again, puts it in deep. Couple fresh legs out there. What's that, a third line attempt here now, Deej? That's correct. So we got Grazinger, Lewis, and lose that hand away on this side here. Yep. Their defense is going to try to break it out. He gets to the line, a whiff on the puck. He keeps coming. Moving down, this is big number 11. Moving down the, on the far board, that's gonna be odd. Nice job there to keep him going wide. No harm, no foul there. Shot there, that missed everything. Nice try, 13, but not tonight. There's Lewis, he checks his guy off the board. This road is closed. Near side here, this is Yager, gonna try to get it out, can't do it. Hit the defenseman in the shin pad. <clears throat> they keep it deep. Behind the Meadville net. He's gonna give it to the point? Yes, he does, far side. Far side corner, what are they gonna do? Put it in front? Couple guys there, where is it? Loose puck, good job by the defenseman to knock it out of there. They had three guys to R2, but I was able to get a handle on it and throw it out of there. Near side here is this English, can he get it out of the zone? Yes, he does. Little scrum here right in front of us, right in front of the West Allegheny bench. Puck squirts loose, it's number 48, gonna put it in deep. Stopped there by Kaufman, 10-19, second period, 3-1, West Allegheny. Puck didn't make it out, oh boy, dangerous pass up the middle. West Allegheny's able to keep it in. Put the puck in front. Nice job there by the defenseman. Still can't get it out. 10.06 to go, second period. Puck put in front, where is it? Oh, just missed Nolan on the far side. Jumped over a stick. Shot there, where'd it go? High and over the, over the net. Tired this is Yager, yeah, here. I'm telling you. There's a shot, I don't know. If, high it off the glass, good job there by. Uh, Franz got that piece you know. of that. Yeah, but uh, they didn't see it because it happened too quickly. <laughs> but Beaverville's gonna have to get a line change. Good thing this isn't the NHL, did you? Yeah, absolutely. I didn't mean to interrupt there. It was no, yeah, that's right. A lot of tired Bulldogs out there. And uh, that icing play, Franz actually got a piece of that. And that's why he was uh, he was asking for it from the ref. But uh, unfortunately, they didn't see it. Yeah, you don't see it. You don't see it. 9.51. Boy, a lot of zone time there for West Allegheny. Meville was tired. Was unable to get the puck out of their zone. Now their, uh, their center gets kicked out for doing something. Maybe bad breath. I don't know. He got booted. Far side point. Neutral zone. They're gonna try to put it in. Good job there by Franz. Pitch the board. What you gonna do? Step around one and step around. <laughs> Gotta step around Triola as well as one of their defensemen. Near side here. Puck's gonna make it out of the neutral into the neutral zone. Back goes Nolan. Gonna take a shot. Bounces off everybody. Good job there to, by the defenseman. High him to get the puck out before that number. Biendi guy gets another shot. He's already got two goals tonight. He tried to take a shot there. It didn't work. This is going to be Weber. Takes a shot right in the middle of their goaltender's stomach. He falls down. So with 9.20 to go, second period, it's 3-1 uh, to one still uh, with goals, uh, two goals for the Indians in the first, one from Meadville. And then, of course, the, the Indians scored pretty quickly there in the second period, Dave. Yeah, the, uh, the play, as you mentioned there, was certainly uh, tilted uh, for a little bit there. But the, the Bulldogs, we've been looking to our right here in the second period. Bulldogs have been doing pretty decent. 
Yeah, a little, little, little bit better job, but uh, you got to be able to find the back of the net. Still down two. And I forgot to tell you, the shots in goal, we had them out. We had them by one. The shot. Yeah, Meadville nine, West Allegheny eight there in the first period. So, you know, we're not completely out, so there you have it. West Allegheny control in behind the net. Nice backdoor pass, misses everybody. Leach is going to try to get out of the zone. Can't do it. Good job there by their defenseman to keep it in. Far side, far side scrum. That's Mahoney. And there's Shovelman with a couple of their guys. Their defenseman walks out, takes a shot. Good save there by Kaufman. Near side here, defenseman steps up, going to wheel and deal, taking him behind. Good job there by Derlich, take his guy off the puck. There's a four, five man scrum in the near side corner. Puck squirts out the other way. Leach is going to get there first. What's he going to do? He's going to try to put it down the ice to Mahoney. Nice job there by Mahoney to get the puck <coughs> and push it down in behind their nets so we don't get icing. They got guys all over the place. They're going to try a stretch pass. Too late there. Good job by Yager taking a couple guys off. That's that play again when you got that bench right here, Dave. Yeah, absolutely. You got to be careful of that. Oh, good job there by English to keep his ground. He just walked right past that guy. He did, didn't he? Yeah, you got to watch that uh, when they're changing like that. There's a couple stuff. Uh, nice move there. Shot, but it was just uh, saved there by Ed Kaufman. Eight minutes to go. Still 3-1 West Allegheny. Puck far side. That's Grasinger. Can he get it out? Lewis can't get it out. Couple guys on the ice, near side or far side, West Allegheny. Finally, Ed Kaufman finally controls the puck. We're going to get a change in personnel. I'm not sure, but I'll tell you what. Uh, the short, a lot of changes, a lot of quick, uh, quick line changes. Yeah, certainly they're the, uh, certainly getting a lot of, uh, a lot of quick. As Lewis looks like he's a little hobbled coming back to the bench here for uh, for the Bulldogs, but a lot of quick changes for the Bulldogs. But uh, certainly well needed. They're getting a lot of gas here. There's a lot of a, a lot of back and forth here. A lot of churning the legs of the Bulldogs. Yeah, for sure. 7.41 to go, puck in the Meadville zone. Far side corner. Good job there by Nicky Franz. He's going to bounce it off the board. This is going to be uh, Cox. Cox trying to take a shot. It went wide. There's a new face on the ice. He's playing out there now with well, Weber and Franz. Yeah, I think there was a miss up in the lineups here uh, that, that long change early on, and I don't think they got it back yet. Okay. Good job there by Weber to back check to keep that from uh, getting a scoring opportunity. Good job by the Bulldogs back checking Knight. This is going to be Franz. I'm sorry, this is Weber. Going to go far side. Leach. Leach to Franz. Franz off his own skate. Going to put the puck in. Then gets a hit, and the other guy falls down. He's a marked man, as he always is. But I'll tell you what, he stood his ground on that one. Leach at the center red. Trying to put the puck in. No icing. 6.48 to go, second period. Indians are trying to break out. They can't do it. Good job there by Derlich to keep the puck in. In behind the net. The Indian net is Nick Franz. Gets a couple guys. To, he gets all kinds of company back there. Derlich goes in and helps him. Finally gets the puck out. Where is it? This is going to be uh, Shovelman. He takes the puck. Hits the defenseman. This is going to be to Derlich. Derlich takes a shot. He didn't make it through. Good opportunities there. Just hit a bunch of skates. <clears throat> 6.23 to go. Second period. Shot there. Wide. Didn't even make it towards the net. Back the other way. This is going to be still in the Meville zone. Indians are putting a little bit of pressure on now. High stick call, no. Back to the neutral zone. Indians at the D. Going to go D to D. Going to get the line. Turn on a dime. Good check in there by. <clears throat> That's um, Leach. They're able to come out with a puck. Going to be a shot there, high up over the glass. Nice job there by that number by by Sweet. Come off the line. He takes a shot. Never made it to the net. Puck's going to go down. Going to be icing call. No, he's never going to make it. English on a hustle there to put, a, put pressure on their defenseman. They're able to break out. Back the other way. Going to hit Nolan on a dime. Nice pass there. Good job there by Eddie Kaufman to make the play. That was a good uh, breakout pass by the Indians. Meanwhile was forced to ice it. But I'll tell you what, that uh, Nolan got shot out of a cannon coming off the bench. They hit him right in the center ice. He was able to split a couple D, but wasn't able to control the puck. Yeah, as you mentioned there, that's uh, one of those plays that you, you mentioned there a few minutes ago with this uh, second period change. You've got the uh, the long change, which is a short side change. You're coming to your offensive zone. And like you said, he was uh, coming right off the bench. Caught him right between the defensemen there. Good play by the by the goaltender, Eddie Kaufman, for the Pope. Yeah, uh, yeah, really. Puck kept in here by their defenseman. This is going to be Yager, though. He steps out. <clears throat> he can't control the puck. Bounce off his skates. Going to go far side corner. In behind the Indian net. Goes all the way around. Puts it in front. Misses a handful of guys. Back come the other way. This is going to be, this is going to be uh, 
Two Indians on two bull, bull, Bulldogs. Puck goes in the corner. Nothing really happened there. Near side scrub. Puck in front of the net. Nice job there by Yager to get away from two Indians. Well, I'll tell you what, that took a lot of cool calm collecting this there to get her bit back, skate backwards in front of your own net with a puck. That was a nice move, though. He had the only place he had to go. That was a good play. Far side corner. They're going to put the puck in front. Hits a Meadville defenseman. Never makes it there. <clears throat> Franz hounding this guy. This is going to be Weber. Going to give it to Franz. Franz going to hit the puck off the glass. Out of the zone. 4.35 to go. Second period. 3-1 West Allegheny. This is odd. In behind his own net. Far side. Off the glass. Going to hit the... Hit a couple guys along the far board. This is Weber. He gets around one guy. Steps around another guy. Can't make a play. Tries to center, but their defense was able to, to get the puck and, and shoot it off the board into the neutral zone. Back they come the other way. Going to take a shot. Good save there by Eddie Kaufman. Rebound given up. High and over the glass. Boy, I'll tell you what, that was a little bit dangerous. Near side, this is uh, number 51, that bandy. He's got two goals tonight. He puts it in deep. Near side corner. Bulldog zone. Where's the puck? In behind the net. Good job there by Yager. Takes his guy off the puck. They're going to try to step in behind. Going to take a shot. Where is it? Hit a bunch of guys. Loose puck. Sticks are flying. Pucks are flying. People are flying. Shot there. Trying to lift the gear. Good job there by Eddie Kaufman. To cut off the short side angle. Their defenseman stepping up. They got like four guys top of the circle. They're, they're, uh, they're, really, they're really closing up there. Closing the net area there, Deej. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> real, real congested there. Bulldogs still stuck out here a long change. Finally, Eddie Kaufman's able to get the puck. There's a little bit of commotion here. All kind of people want to talk about something. I don't, I'm not sure what happened afterward, but I'll tell you what, their defenseman, it was almost like they were on a power play. They kept they kept pinching in. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Leach, Leach goes behind everybody and just, just start talking to people. But it was a unfortunate play there. I've got a stick. Uh, taken out of his hands there, so he didn't have a stick there for the longest time, so there was under, in, in, his inability to be able to move the puck anywhere was certainly part of the problem. Yeah. All right, this is Derlich. Gets around one guy, two on one if we hurry. Derlich and Mahoney, what's going to do? Take a shot, oh, rebound. Just went out, couldn't get Mahoney's stick. That was a nice shot pass potentially, but I'll tell you, a good opportunity for Bulldogs, but it, didn't, but, but it just went awry. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> Glad we got that off. Oh, I'll tell you, mark that off in here. In your car bingo game. Didn't go wheat. It went awry. It did not go wheat. It went awry. <laughs> Leach gets taken into the boards. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of thunder out there. Out this, it's like I said, playoff playoff atmosphere. Here we go. Bulldogs come back the other way. This is Cox. Can he get the zone? He's out there with Mahoney and, uh, and Shovelman. Cox along the Zamboni door. Can't, get a, can't find a pass. Puck's going to be put into the neutral zone. This is going to be high. And back to his own blue line. What's he going to do? Stop on a dime, try to get it to Cox. It won't work. And then he gets run over by one <laughs> little late check there, I think. Yeah, it looked like it. Number 27, Peroni. I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe he lost an edge. Good job there by Leach. Get around one guy. This is high. I'm going to go near side here. Cox, he can't control it. Back goes the other way. Indians into the Meville zone. Near side board. Going to put it in front. Never made it to the, never made it to the net. 2.07 to go. Second period. Far side. Going to take a shot there, hit the defenseman. Knocked the stick out of his hand. Good job there to be able to get the, uh, get the puck out of the front of the zone by Hyam. In behind his own that time. He can't clear the puck. Bounces off one of their guys' escape. Good job there by Leach to clear that guy off the puck. Puck's going to go bouncing all the way down the other end. It's going to be an icing call. Nick's just a little bit too slow to get there. NCAA, NHL, he gets there. We're still playing. Yeah, no doubt. And unfortunately, that puck landed flat on the ice and skipped away with as, as roughed up as the ice is here with just under two minutes to play in the second period before the ice cut. Unfortunately, that did not take a Bulldogs bounce because you mentioned the uh, the defenseman was beat there by Franz for the puck. Yeah, too bad it just didn't do something there. All right, 144 to go in the period. West Allegheny in B-Bull zone. Good job there to keep the puck in. Oh, far side, Nolan can't tip it in. Better D there by Yager. Bulldogs aren't giving up, that's for sure. Puck still to Meville zone. Where is it now? Still to Meville zone. Going to put it in front. Step around one guy. Nice job there. Where is it? Puck never made, never shot, never got taken. Guy kind of just skated through the crease. That was sweet. He never gonna be able to get a shot off. Near side here to English. He can't seem to get a hold of it. Bandy goes all the way back down. Ike's going to be called on Meadville with uh, 107 to go, second period. 
We should be counting. We should have been counting icing calls in, in addition to shots on goal. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Again, we're just, I mean, I, I don't want to keep repeating it on, uh, mentioning it over and over again, but the Bulldogs certainly aren't keeping possession of the puck. Once they get it, I mean, they're firing it somewhere. And they got a couple seconds. If uh, if they can get somebody to move, they, they can certainly be able to uh, exit the zone a little clear. All right, here we go. Face off to the right of Eddie Coffin. Meville zone. There's the puck drop. That jogger takes him behind his own net. One minute to go. This is Weber. Center ice line. Going to go around one guy. Try to beat a guy near the side. Going to go all the way around the net. Wheel and deal. What's he going to do? Try to put it near side here. Hot. Can he keep it deep? Yeah, this he can. This is going to be Franz. Franz on the near side board. Going to put it in front. Nobody there. Weber's able to get the puck. She hits off their defenseman and scoots out up into the upper deck. So with four, uh, 40 seconds to go in the second period, um, we're going to have a face-off in West Allegheny's end. Yeah, Chief, uh, Chief loaded up here. He got Leach on the point, and uh, Mahoney's actually up there with uh, Franz and Weber. There you go. Face-off goes to their defense, and they're able to clear it. It's going to go all the way down. All the way down the other end, we're going to have an icing call. So what we did there, DJ, was lose seven seconds. Certainly. Face off in the same location, just to the right of their goaltender. It looks like Ken Dryden. The guy looks like he's about 9 foot 12 standing <laughs> down there. And I got to tell you what, I've thrown away mattresses smaller than what he's got on his legs. They do look big, don't they? My Lord. He's got twin. He got mattresses look like from twin beds on there. <laughs> Puck pours the pucks in front of the net. Their defense is able to clear it. They're able to go to the far side. 26 seconds to go. The Indians get the Meadville zone. Far side corner. Nope, Yoder said no high stick. That's, uh, he must have missed it, that guy. 17 seconds on a running clock. There's a scrum going on in the corner. Tom Yoder said, that's all. He's going to have a face off because the puck must have squirted in underneath the Indian player. And, and Tom Yoder loses sight of the puck. Blows the whistle, we're gonna have a face off just to the right of Eddie Kaufman with uh, 13.3 seconds, 13 .3 seconds to go. Uh, here in the second period. Shot in front, where's the puck? Oh, there, the, somebody got knocked down in front. Their coaches weren't happy. 404 to go, two, one, shot, score. This bandy guy took a wrist shot from the point with less than one second to go in the game. Eddie Kaufman went down and found a short side 90 and went in with 0.3 seconds on the clock. West Allegheny scores to make it four to two, four to one. Uh, going in here, <laughs> boy, I'll tell you what, you're talking about taking a shot at the last second. That's it, Dave. Yeah, boy, that threw that, that saw some eyes there too. That went through everything. I mean, that had to go through four or five, six people. It did. So 51 from 37 and uh, 99, so that Bandy guy, he takes a wrist shot from the point, and there you go. That gives him, the, that gives him a three-goal lead going into the third period. I'll tell you what, let's take it back to the studio. We'll be back uh, to kind of wrap this all up in a minute here. So right back at you. We'll see you. All right, so, yeah, we got a new goaltender in, in that. Uh, I hate to say I told you so, but... <coughs> We told you so. <laughs> we thought so. We were guessing. Again, not, nothing again uh, against Eddie Coffin. Sometimes you just need to put a spur in the saddle. And in hockey, that's the most common way to do it is change the goaltender. I've seen, I've seen goaltenders get changed four or five times in a period. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of those things that, like you said, it's, a, it's almost like a timeout. Got Derek right away by West Allegheny. Went wide in behind the Meadville goal. Near side board, put in front, where is it? Can't break out again. Sticks are out, pucks are going all over the place. This is English, he can't get it out. They don't find any, county can. Three on two if they hurry. Puck shot on goal, oh, shot there. Holders trying to get a rebound. One able to finish, and then he was able to take the guy into the corner, and then someone jumps on the back of Grasinger, and now there's, there's two Indians down, and now Nolan's gonna punch Lewis in the back of the head. Now we got Leach in there. I told you this is not going to be a good ending. Yeah, did he get a penalty there? Did he well, take a both? He should have. He punched him in the back of the head. He did punch him in the back of the head. I'm sure, I, if, uh, I know, he's probably, the, I'm going to imagine the faceoff's going to be outside with Leach going down below the 
Thought he got somebody for a rough there. Uh, no, and he punched uh, Lewis in the back of the noggin. So he got the uh, he got the Indian for uh, for rough in there. Yeah, yep. he did. So we're going to start the game like we did the first period. <laughs> Power play. Here's the opportunity we just got done talking about. I mean, yeah. this is a perfect opportunity that you're going to want to capitalize. You have. It's almost a must must capitalize. Yeah. This is Franz going to be at the point. That's Yager. Yager back to Franz. Gets around a couple guys. Far side there to Weber. Weber takes, oh, he hits a crossbar on the near side. Man, how do you even get it there? I don't even know, but I'll tell you what, he just hit the crossbar. The goalie never saw it. I'll tell you what, we got to get, get a little puck luck. Far side here, that's going to be uh, Leach. Leach is going to put it in front. Shot wow. there, back door. Front puts it in. Unbelievable. Nice pass by Leach to front. Back door, good night. The goalie never even moved. Power play goal, Meadville. Unbelievable for you folks at home. I mean, I don't know if everybody in the building knew it, but I certainly tell you, I knew that he was going to go to Franz. He still strings it through at least three or four players to the back door, and Franz has a wide open net and just cashes in. We got a 4 2 game here. Bulldogs within two. Power play goal less than a minute into the third period. Well, you know, you know what's thinking about that, Deej, is that I'm not sure that puck was even on the ice when Franz hit it. Might not have been. I mean, he, because he, there's no way Leach is putting the puck to all those guys on the ice. I don't know. I mean, I, everybody, everybody had I mean, to go there. I saw it. Yeah. I mean, I, but, yeah. All right, that gives everybody a little bit of life now. Four to two. Meville are clawing back into this. We got still time on the clock. 14, 15, 45 to go. Back comes West Allegheny now. Let's see what they're going to do. Puck in behind the Meadville goal. That's going to be odd. Tries to get it around. Puck going to make it out a little bit better this time. No, nobody there to get the puck for their defense. That goes West Allegheny. They're going to step in, take a shot. Where is it? Puck's loose. Where is it again? Shot another save. Where is it? Yoder's pointing at something. But that's off the mooring. But that's off the mooring. I think yeah, Mc, that was a good save there by McCurdy. Had back-to-back -back saves right away. That's a good way to add for the West Allegheny to try the answer, but a better answer by the Meadville Bulldog goaltender. Yeah, absolutely. Again, another another opportunity, one of those things that you gotta be able to make sure you come up with, and McCurdy was able to stop the music there. This is Leach, behind his own net. Going over there to English. Puck can't get out. They're coming off the half board. Shot there, high over the net. Getting opportunities there by our, the, our, the Indian. This is English, can't get the puck out. They're having trouble to get the puck out of that far blue line. It's Tommy Yoder, he didn't hit again. No, he didn't. Yeah. He's gonna get a, he's gonna have to go see Denny Finn Chickle check it. He's gonna get lose a chicklet. Back to our defense, this is gonna be, uh, who's Leach? Leach go D to D. That's gonna be Haim, he's gonna get the line, gonna dump it in deep. Bounces in off the goaltender, and he just like, yeah, I'm just going to hold on to it. He just held on to it, Dave. Is that what he said? Oh, I'm just going to hold on to it. <laughs> he had that little attitude to him. Did he? Like, oh, he scooped it up. He looked around like, ah, I'm going to hold on to it. He's not real happy about that backdoor pass. I'll tell you what, he, he he's, in, he's in a whole class of goaltenders that aren't happy with that backdoor <laughs> pass. Oh, stick save there by their goaltender. They're going to be near side board. He's going to come back here to Yager. Yager's going to, get, going to get, get, get a check a little bit late after the game by, by Beck. I'll tell you, I'm not sure they want to start all that, too, with a 4-2 league. Maybe they should just, the old phrase is, leave a sleeping dog live. All right, back they go the other way. West Allegheny on the other half board. This is Derlick. Bounces off someone's skate. Puck still staying in the zone. Good job there by Mahoney, take his man off the play. There's a play, there's Beck guy, he's running into everybody. Good call by, that's a good call by Triola. This Beck guy's right, he's re he's reckless. Yeah, absolutely. It's getting one of those things that as a, you know, as a referee, you're certainly gonna keep things in check here because it's gonna get, it'll get chippy if you don't. And uh, it's a better penalty's a penalty, obviously. And behind the play, and you gotta call it. And again, here's opportunity number three, or number two for the Bulldogs. Well, that kid, he, I think he hit uh, Yager a little bit late. To be honest with you. So yeah, I tell you what, we score on this power play, we're right back in the game. Far side front, he can't keep it in. Pucks gonna score it down the all the way to the other end. 13.48 to go, 4-2 West Allegheny. Where's the puck? There it is, 
Franz is going to have it. Ustriola is the, is the screen. Good job there. Going to get ahead, get ahead to Weber. Weber gets turned. No, that's Leach. Leach kind of got turned around. I think he actually stepped on the puck there. Did he really? Yeah, that's what, that's what turned him around so quickly. That's a bummer. Far side board here. Franz going to give it to Weber. Get to the blue line. Over to over to Franz. He can't keep it in. Now we're going to have to get. We're going to have to clear back into. Everybody's going to have to get onside. This is Weber. Wheel and deal. Center of the ice. Loses control. Gains control. This is going to be Leach. Steps around one guy. Nice job there. Good good hands by Leach. Get around a couple guys. Turn around. Going to put it back along the far boards. That's going to be Yager. Yager gets checked off the puck. Where is it? Puck's in the far corner. Two Bulldogs. That's uh, that's Shovelman. Now we got Leach in there. We got three Bulldogs on one of their guys. He's trying to get it loose. Finally, where does it go? Good, good check in there by, <clears throat> by Leach, but they're able to break it out. Send it to the far side. He's going to chase it down, but Weber's able to beat him to it. And then Franz takes a guy into the boards. 29 seconds to go in the power play. Pass there. Nice job there. Hit down. Oh, almost got a rebound there by the Indians. Good uh, shorthanded uh, opportunity there. Puck in behind the Meville net. They've got the puck. 16 seconds. Who's got the power play? Boy, we're looking a little tired. Backhand shot there. But a better save there by Purdy. Back come the other way. This is going to be Leach. He's going to get checked behind. He hurries up. This is Shelvin. Shelvin can give it over to Franz. He can't connect. One second to go. And they're going to be equal strength. They're going to try to give it up ahead. They just missed him. It's going to go all the way down for an icing. They try to get the guy out of the penalty box. But he just missed him. With 11.56 to go, Migo wasn't able to operate opportunistic on that power play. Yeah, it was a uh, good heads up play there by the, uh, certainly McCurdy's banging a stick, the, the bench is yelling, and uh, Weber actually ended up getting, I think he could have caught him if he needed to, but uh, the, as you mentioned, the pass was just a little out ahead of, ahead of the Indian uh, for trying for that breakaway pass. Yeah, I hear you. Indian to break it out of the zone. Good job there by English to be able to intercept the puck. Put the puck in deep. No ice and call. This is Lewis again. I'll tell you what. Woo, baby. I'll tell you what. He winds. He just, he doesn't mess around when he checks somebody. You know that? He puts it all into it. Oh, yeah. He's, he gets a lot of those LBs going, and he puts them no use. He does. He's coming back the other way. There's going to be another again. check oh, here. Oh, boy. He just took 16. <laughs> His helmet got halfway turned around. Well, I'll tell you what. Lewis, every time he hits somebody, we get a scoring opportunity. That's an interference. That should be. He called it. Good yeah, call. he did. That's a good call. It is a good call because it's an interference. And little Johnny Grassiker got an interview. He got. He didn't even have. The, he wasn't even near the puck. No, he wasn't. He was. He was trying to get to the puck, but he got interfered with before he could get there. That's the second penalty that Grassiker and Lewis have really kind of strummed up. That's what the third. I mean, that's the second or third opportunity here that Grassiker and uh, and Lewis and in some sort of combo have somewhat drummed up a, a, a power play opportunity or and or a goal. Yeah, I know that's going to be uh, that's going to be Maxwell Perone going to get in there for interference. I'll tell you what, three three penalties is not part of what the West Allegheny coach wanted to see. In behind the in behind the Allegheny uh, net, Yager near side board going to put it in front hole, bounce off Sheldon escape, but this went wide. This is Franz. Franz over to Weber. Weber's going to take a shot word to hit their goaltender. Good job there by Yarger to try to keep it in. Back to the other way. Weber's going to have to hustle to beat their four-checker sweep. Stops on a dime in behind his own net. Going to step in front. Good job there to get to uh, miss that four-checking. Weber get the line. Gets a little bit of tension. Puts it in behind their net. This is going to be Yarger. He puts it back on the other way. Franz near side corner. It's like, it's like everything went in slow motion. Everybody sort of just stopped. They tried to clear the puck. All the way down it goes. Nice job there by their defenseman. 11 to go in the penalty. Uh, 10-27 to go in the third period. Puck's hard off the glass. Where is it? Lee still is able to come up with it. Is he going to be able to stay the line? Oh, just good job there by Yager to be able to keep that guy from breaking away. Hit his skate and was able to keep the puck in front of him. Back they come the other way. Two on three. Where is it? He steps on the puck now. One of the Indians. Somehow it ends up on front stick. He's at the center red. Near side here, gets around one, gonna step around another guy, toe drag around, gonna go up, nice shot there, try to go far side, 90. Nice job to get around the guy, but good opportunity there by Meadville with uh, 39 seconds to go, 9.58 in the period. 
I'll tell you what, that was a good move there by Franz, and he had a good opportunity. Yeah, he got a little bit of a uh, head of steam there, and the puck rolled on him a little bit, and I don't think he was able to get all of it on, uh, unfortunately, there. Timeout here by the Bulldogs? Yeah, I think so, with 39 seconds to go. I think Jamie's saying the same thing you are. How many more opportunities are they going to get? Absolutely, and this is a great A opportunity, 30 seconds left. So we got a timeout for Meadville. They're going to have a face-off just to the right of their goaltender uh, with 9.58 to go. Uh, we're going to stay right here. Now, Deej, why don't you give us a top of our sponsors? This might be a good opportunity for yeah, that Yeah, absolutely. One. Yeah, you're listening to Cool 101.7 <laughs> here on WMVL, Linesville, Meadville. We appreciate you listening here. We got a list of our sponsors. We may say them a little bit more slowly because we've got a little bit of time. KFC of Meadville, Ralston's Hardware, Westbury, Monaco Insurance, Crestman and Ernie Law, the Area Shopper, Lakeview Ford, Mercer County State Bank, Dr. Dennis Finton Associates, Ross Plumbing and Heating, Howard Hanna Bainbridge Coffin Real Estate, Ron Puz, your Aflac representative, Smock Plumbing and Heating, Smith Grave GMC, and Channel Off. We appreciate you listening here. Couldn't do it without those sponsors there, so we do thank those uh, individuals and folks and opportunity that uh, they've been able to uh, give us to here so that everybody can uh, consider here. Yeah, so here we go. We're going to have 9.58 to left to go in the third period. We got 39 seconds to go on the third penalty for West Allegheny. Meaver already cashed in once on a France uh, uh, backdoor tip in there by Leach, but here we go, starting to play. Just to the right of their goaltender. Puck goes into the near side corner. Good four checking there by, uh, oh boy, there's all kind of people banging in there now. That was Mahoney, nice job to four check the guy, to get, get the four check. Puck in behind the net. Leach is gonna hustle it after it, get the puck. 25 seconds to go in the, in the power play. Shot there, their back door. Where is it? Oh, just loose. Good job there. Back door to Yager. Tried to get a pass in the, into the crease, but it didn't make it. Shot there by uh, Weber. Nice job there. Weber's able to keep the puck in. Far side, near side corner. What's he going to do? Put it in front. Oh, just missed there by uh, just missed there by Leach. And then Front was able to take a shot with three seconds to go. We're still going to get another opportunity here. 9.22 to go in the third period. Boy, there's been a lot of commotion. It looked like Leach is in the middle of everything again. Yeah, absolutely. Certainly a little bit of flares here, and everybody's still a little testy. Bulldogs still down by two, unfortunately, unable to uh, unable to cash in so far on these couple opportunities here, but uh, a, lot of, a lot of great chances. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, for sure. All right, 9.22 to go, third period. Face off, where is it? Kind of stuck in everything, in behind their net. This is Lewis, gonna put it out to the point. Good job there by Hyman, keep it in. Take a shot, oh, just missed wide. Beat the goaltender, but wasn't able to <clears throat> be on net. They're going to get the zone, going to take a shot. Wheel to run. One guy shot, just went through the net. They were through the crease, but everything just went wide. Near side here. Oh, oh there's boy. A, more commotion. That's Lewis again. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> boy, I'll tell you what. We're <laughs> He's just hitting everything that moves. This, that's good. This, I don't blame him. I'm going to enjoy watching him play in the year's future. All right, there. Puck went through the... But what, I, what did not was able to get the, get even shot on... 8.40 to go in the third period. It's 4-2 to two in favor of West Allegheny. Now, I got to tell you something right now. I got to watch that cord. Yeah, you got to watch out that for that cord. I think you're kicking that cord. We're going in and out. I got to tell you. We can need one of the, we've got, we got to get those plastic PVC pipes or something to cover them up with. Need something more official. I feel like I'm caught in spider web over here. <laughs> you don't want to move your legs? I can't move. <laughs> I'm tangled in. Tangled in. I'm tangled in the fiber optics. You can't move your legs. Don't turn oh. left. You're going to hit your head on that angle iron again. Other than that, everything's going wonderful. Heads up. Where to go? Now that one in the Meadville bench. Yeah, in the Meadville bench. We got, we got three pucks and two different benches tonight. I got to tell you. I, you know something? DJ, keep your head on a swivel up here, Kevin. You never know. Oh, We're next. Right. Yeah, the way this game's going. Well, Rondell out there. Oh, I don't want a biscuit and the chicklets. All right, here we go. Shot in there, knocked down by Weber out of midair. I guess maybe he's a baseball player. That was a good bunt. Far side, D to D, that's high. He's gonna put the puck ahead. Cock can't get a hold of it. It's gonna be icing again all the way down the other end. Here we go with this. We've had enough of this in the second period, D. Yeah, absolutely. Again, a little bit, uh, a little bit unforced there by Hyam. Again, it's one of those plays that we continue to talk about. You got to take take a couple seconds, and um, that's a hard play for Cox to, to make that hit and bat that out of midair. If you can try to find a stick or make sure you you know take a couple strides, gain the red, one of the two. But uh, that will come. 
Oh, yeah. Pucks in front. Good job there by McCurdy to put the puck into the corner. In behind the net now, the Meville zone. Weber, can he get the puck out? Yes, he does. Near side corner. Hard off the dasher. He's going to hit Franz. Franz goes to skate. Wheel and deal. Turns one guy inside out. Takes a shot. Oh! Franz has turned somebody inside out. Right handed shot coming off the left wing board. He didn't even get three feet in the net. He took off one of those Mr. Twister wristers. Far side, local to corner. We got ourselves in the way. Go 4 3. I'll tell you, don't go away. Boy, oh boy, you mentioned it. Eight minutes left to go here in the game. Franz takes the puck off of a crazy. Crazy pass by Weber off the boards. It's not easy to receive that pass. I don't know if uh, if Ken was able to grab that because it's right here in front of us, but that is not an easy pass to, to basically to receive. It's coming from behind you. You got to make sure the defenseman doesn't step up any. There's a lot going on there. And uh, boy, he makes it look easy unless you said he, he twisted that defenseman right around and ended up coming back inside. And boy, smokes a guy in low up. Back on the other way. Good job there. Good opportunity by the Indians, but it didn't make it. This is going to be an icing call. I'll tell you what, there's a little less smiles to the left of me now, Dave. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, we're getting down to that point here where I would imagine the uh, I'd imagine the, the bench is going to continue to get shortened here as the opportunities become to come, you know, lower and lower and less and less. Uh, but uh, not as many smiles to your left. I'm imagine they're starting to feel a little pressure here. Yeah, the Bulldogs continue to play even better. Yeah, I'm telling you, let's kind of see what happens here now. That's going to be puck guy in their zone. There's going to be uh, English. He's after it. Their defenseman's able to come out, try to turn on a dime. Good job there by English. Him and Lewis are going to try to get the puck out, but they just kind of like put their skates to skate, skate, skate. Carroll is going to let him play. Play what? That a boy, Jamie. Huh? Yeah, that was a uh, long time there in the corner. Oh, man. We've I've seen th that where they've let it play for 10 or 15 seconds, just not going anywhere. Face off in their inner zone. Who do you think is going to be coming out? Like you said, short bench. Here comes the number one line. You're going to have Franz with uh, Cox and Weber. Leach is going to be at the point on one side. I'm going to be at the point on the other side. Puck goes to their defenseman. Try to get it out. It won't make it. Finally, they, they're able to step out. Get to the red line, back the other way. This is sweet, near side. Try to get around one guy, does. Stick handles in hand, backhands it into the corner. Good job there by Weber to give him a little bit of commotion. Where's the puck? Far side here to Nolan. He's gonna take a shot, hit off of uh, Leach's skate. This is sweet, where's it gonna go? Out of the zone. Weber's gonna give chase, put some pressure on their defenseman. Good job there by Cox. <clears throat> but uh, Weber lost an edge, he was caught in the zone. Back come the other way, one, one guy, gonna take a shot, where is it, right into the goal pit, right into McCurdy's chest. He's able to clear it into the corner. <clears throat> Leach battling with one of, their, one of their forwards. Puck put in front all the way through the crease, no harm, no foul there. This is Nolan, he can't do anything with it. Cox can't clear it out. Franz is gonna try to get the puck out, he can't get it out. They finally keep the puck in, wheeling deal, one of their defensemen. That's Bandy, he's the guy that has three goals for them tonight, he's their hero. Good job there by Leach, take their guy out of the play. In behind the net, then the far side. Can't get it out. Gonna put it far side this way to the Zamboni doors. Where is it? Put it in front, good shot there. Better save by McCurdy. Good forechecking there by the Indians. Gotta give him credit now. This is gonna be high. He's gonna go far side, 5.59 to go, third period. Can't get the puck out. Coming off the half board, gonna take a look, take a shot. Where is it? Hit the defenseman, is that Leach? Yeah, Leach. Nice job, he played like goaltender on that one. Made the save and then like got the puck out of there. Nice job there by uh, that was Franz. Franz just to leap it down, even though it's an icing, trying to get a, get the heat out of a hot kitchen. 5.41 to go, 4-3, West Allegheny. I'll tell you what, this is gonna go down to the proverbial wire, not the one I'm standing on, D. No doubt, and no, don't stand on a wire. Don't touch it. We might get cut off again, but I tell you what, that was uh, not, a, uh, not a bad play, and Hedzi played certainly there by Franz just to get it out of the zone and uh, take the icing if you have to, especially in there, if you're in this uh, in this position as the Bulldogs. Certainly need another goal here, but you don't need to go down another one either. All right, we got time. We got Tommy Yoder's returning mouth guards. I mean, I tell you what, if these kids would just put their mouth guards in their mouths, I don't think they'd be on the ice so much. They know, they chew on the corner. It's unbelievable. Nobody wears them. You know, when I was a kid. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Let's just go right back to the action. And I hope your mother's not listening, little DJ. <laughs> 
<laughs> Near side boards. Oh boy, I'll tell you what. A lot of commotion going on here now. That's Shovelman working with Mahoney. Yeah, Mahoney, Shovelman, puck gets put in deep. Mahoney's gonna give chase. 5.15, the clock's not running there, it's running. Puck back the other way, 5.12, running clock. 4-3 in favor of West Allegheny. Meadville's giving it the old college try this second, or this third period. Puck's uh, commotion on the near side board. Hemminger walks out with it. He's gonna get the center red, gonna put it in deep. Good job by their defense, but to walk all the way out with that and get, get the puck in there. That's Yager getting a couple four checks. This is near side of Mahoney. What's he gonna do? Can he get it out? Yes, he does. Shelman, he can't control. Back to their D. That's Morton. Can he get it out? He does. Carried in nicely there by Beck. Franz is able to get the puck because it was carried in. Then he gets hit from behind. A little cross check. Nobody says nothing. Back come the other way. This is going to be uh, Weber. Weber's going to break in. Far side. Going to try to go around the net. He does. Going to put it to the point here. This is Leach. Going to take a shot. No. Good play there to give it back to Weber. Weber going to go far side. So he's high him. He's going to take a shot. Where is it? In front. So all that was front. He couldn't get he went to shoot the puck. Get the guy skate instead. 4-10 to go in the, in the period. There's a, there's a bunch of scrum going on in the corner, and that's Franz and English. Three of their guys, four of their guys. Leach steps in. Where is it now? Good job. Weber can't keep it in. Two on one, back the other way. Going to take a shot there. He scores. That's their captain, number four, 37 there. Got a two on one, back the other way. Just snapped one off there. That's that uh, Keelan Almady, I think, is his captain. Snaps it off at 3.55 to go, makes it a 5-3 game. Well, that was a good shot there, Dave. Yeah, unfortunately there, uh, at least tried to pinch, keep the play in the in the, uh, in the the offensive zone. Of the, and uh, unfortunately, they were able to uh, to come out there two on one. And uh, he went high he went high corner right now on McCurdy, uh, right above the blocker. Didn't really have much of a chance. No. That's 5-3 now, I'll tell you what. That's the, now we got a big road to climb even more. Stranger things have happened. Shot there by Yager, bounced off a whole bunch of people, far side corner. Back they come the other way, one on one. They got the puck again, top of the circle. Where is it? In front shot there, nice save there by McCurdy. And then the guy took the shot, ran into the goal post. So he knocked it, he knocked it. There's, a, there's, a, there's you gotta feel bad about this. You just scored a goal, you try to score another goal, you threw yourself in the ice, and you take the net off the moorings and the puck comes out of the zone. Yeah, absolutely, he might want to check his blade there. He, he nailed that post pretty good with the skate uh, blade there directly on it. That might dull it up a little bit. Well, he's just got to last three minutes and 33 seconds before he gets to the skate sharpener guy. Yeah, probably just a couple more shifts for him. Yeah, that's it. We'll see what happens though, you never know. He might have to be called back in action. Meeple scores a couple too quickly. This is gonna be Franz, can he step around one guy? No, he can't. The puck sort of just bounced off his ankle and went one to one of their defensemen. Back to the Yager, Yager in his own, in his own D. Gonna put ahead to Franz. Step around a couple guys, get all kinds of commotion. Steps around a third guy, but the, wasn't able to get through. Yager takes a shot, tipped there, was it by Mahoney? Mahoney chases him behind the net. Yager's gonna step up, he's gonna put it deep. It takes a check into the board, this is Mahoney. He can't get in in front. That's going to be Weber. He takes a check. Where's the puck? Far side corner in front. Where is it? Loose. This is going to be Yager. He's going to take a shot. Like, where to go? Hit their defenseman. Puck still loose. Defenseman kind of fell like he got hurt, but I think he was just kind of holding on to the puck. All the way back to the Beaver goalie. Franz, he's got the puck far side. He can't get a shot off. He gets checked. Puck in deep. Delayed off sides. Beaver finally clears. 2.30. 2.30 to go on a running clock, where is it? Gonna come the other way, there's another check right here in front of us, that was Weber, put a nice check on. Shot there, hit the McCurdy in the face mask, I think, and then someone just got railed behind the net. That was Franz. Franz knocked this guy all the way over, and the guy's referee yelled at the referee. This is a break in here, shot, oh, good save by the goaltender. Opportunity there by Weber, but the goalie was better than the task. Now Lewis gets taken down. Puck on the far side here. The Indians are making all kinds of noise. They're banging their sticks. This is going to be a breakaway there. A slash hole. Oh, that was a net. Leach slashed him, but he, but he didn't get the shot off. Yoder's got his hands up. There's going to be a call here somewhere. Let's wait and see what it is. Definitely going to be a, it's going to be a slashing call on, uh, on Leach. But if he doesn't slash him, I think he gets the shot off, Dean. Yeah, it's unfortunate that he had to take a penalty there. He got behind him with the power. You have a power play uh, for the Indians and a uh, penalty kill that he definitely slashed him and he knows it. 
Um, as you mentioned, it's one of those maybe goal saving, but less than two minutes left to go into play. The ball is going to be short handed here for the rest of the game play unless uh, the Indians score. So it's uh, certainly not uh, not a tough tough hill to climb here for the Bulldogs now. Boy, we're at a nice shot, but I'll tell you what, I think he hit the goaltender. I don't think the goaltender made the save. That could have been a whole different story, but if and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. That's right, even <laughs> in February. Even in February. All right, they're not gonna be in any big hurry to do anything time fast with a two goal league, I wouldn't think. Just try to get the puck in the zone, maintain some presence. Yeah, there's that. There's the kid, that Albany guy, fell down again. Yeah, that game might need a little attention. Shot all the way down, no icing, 119 to go. 5-3, West Allegheny, minute 15 to go in the period. I tell you, we'll get the, we'll give you the whole game wrap up here in a minute. But we're gonna have to, Nevo's gonna have to put some pressure on somewhere. Because West Allegheny can't be in too big a hurry. <laughs> yeah, Franz just intercepted a pass off his skate, took a shot, went over the goalie's head. And then somebody was trying to hit, check him and hit him and everything else. And, you know, it's just pure frustration on their part because he makes them look so bad. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's got two or three guys on him all times. He's still able to get the shot off on the net. Yeah, don't feel bad, 26. You're in a big host. You're in a host of players that just look bad by that boy. It's okay, son. <laughs> just do your math. It's all good. Answer C on your next test. Something I don't care. 58 seconds to go. Meeville's on a Meeville shorthanded, as you know, on that uh, penalty to, to Leach. It was a well, I mean, you had to do it. This is going to be all the way down the other end, 46 seconds. I can't believe the West Allegheny's in this big of a hurry. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I mean, again, they're uh, maybe not necessarily thinking it through all the way, but I would agree with you on, the, on that. I mean, you know, why, why come down here and give Meeville an opportunity? Why not just stand there and do that a couple, pass it back to them? Right. I mean, I don't know. I'm up here. I guess that's why I'm up here. I don't know. Give it to your D, son. That a boy. In behind his own net. There you go D to D. Now, you know, at this there it is. Now it, it just took him a little while. It to just get there. took me to say something. Are you guys listening to me down there? <laughs> now back. Uh, two seconds after I say something, they go they to. They finally it. did it. Finally did it. Yeah. Now they finally come out of there and get me able to put some pressure on it. Back the other way. That's the pass going nowhere. There's the end of the game. It's, just want to kind of wrap up what happened here tonight. It was a game that the Louisville Bulldogs had to have. Um, they they kind of played West Allegheny even and sort of fell asleep a little bit in the second period, but came out alive in the third period. DJ, but it was just a too little, too late type of philosophy there. Yeah, absolutely. I think that uh, Chief certainly pulled some uh, pulled some tricks out because it was a uh, certainly a, got back to a one goal game there, 4-3. Uh, after plenty of opportunities with the uh, with the power play that the Bulldogs uh, unfortunately weren't able to cash in all of them and uh, able to uh, you know get a couple goals there from Franz that uh, certainly gave a little bit of spark and life in the in the building at, at first and then the uh, the two on one that uh, they gave it up there to go five five three with just a few minutes left I think kind of took all the sales out of the, out of the Bulldogs but you know as you mentioned and we mentioned earlier the Bulldogs definitely certainly wanted to have that one uh, to get themselves in the uh, number two seed. Um, but the, you know the good news is that they do still have uh, they got the three seed I think pretty well locked in. Um, they've got uh, three more games here in the uh, in, in the regular or in the uh, regular season in the league play. Uh, one that's going to be uh, I think one week from tonight they are going to be going and traveling to uh, Swickley Academy. Uh, that'll be a week from tonight and then two weeks from tonight you'll hear us right back here uh, here at the rec complex. Uh, Deer Lakes is going to be uh, visiting the Bulldogs. And then uh, that, that Thursday is going to be Freeport. They're going to go down, and the Bulldogs are down to Freeport, so they'll have three more games left. And then the uh, the first game of the Bulldogs uh, playoffs will be uh, then that following Thursday. That'll be uh, the last day of February 28th um, here at the uh, here at the Rec Complex uh, to be determined on as far as their opponent. Yeah. So again, that's, uh, we got the final shots on goal. I think um, Evo ended up with. Um, would they have uh, 27 27 13 yeah. in the 13 the third period there and they ended up with 31 for West Allegheny but um, West Allegheny I mean again they got to give them credit they came out had a lot of good hops early um, you got to give Meville credit uh, they hung in there uh, to, to the end uh, you know I mean it was a it was a tough game we knew it was gonna be a tough game coming in uh, we didn't get it tonight but you know it all this does is now you, now you know where you sit in the playoffs um, and, and you just got to work now. You just got to watch out these last couple games. You can't be, you know, resting on your laurels, so to speak. So I guess with that said, 
Uh, do you have any uh, closing comments before we wrap it up there? No, I think that's it. Again, the uh, the Bulldogs certainly came out to uh, came came out to play in the third period. Uh, seemed to be a little bit too late. Much better third period, but uh, no, nothing else from me here. Uh, we'll see you back here in a couple weeks. Okay. Have a uh, have a good couple weeks there. Yep, yep. For Dan, for DJ Craven, this is Dan Craven. For for everybody out there at uh, Cool One One Point Seven, and for thanking Kevin Tommy and Armstrong Cable for joining us. This is Dan Craven from the Georgia S Dar uh, S Dar Gus. The Armand Ice Arena. Boy, nothing's going well tonight. Uh, until next time, good night, everybody.